Are you feeling more comfortable now as you get more reps to get into the defense a little bit more? Uh, yes, uh, more I'm, I'm practicing. I mean, more I'm playing and everything. I'm just getting more and more comfortable. Uh, I just look, watch and make sure I'm fixing my mistakes or the mistakes I do make, and just make sure I'm coming out there and just trying to grind at practice every day to get better and better. When you play more snaps, is your body used to that yet? Like just in terms of like getting tired? Is well, I'm, I'm like getting there. Like it's it's because they they trying to ease me in. I can tell, but uh, I mean some drives be longer than others, so sometimes my body feel more fatigued. But that just comes to me just here now during the week, just making sure I'm doing extra stuff. Uh, if it ain't nothing but extra gases or extra, extra, getting on a bike. Doing some extra stuff to make sure I'm conditioned for uh, for the long long drives. What was the experience like going against Tom Brady and, and all his receivers and everything? I mean, did you feel kind of like you know what's going on, or did you kind of know? Uh, I, well, I feel like we prepared, and, I, and it was even though it was a short week, they uh, kept the game plan kind of simple for us. So uh, when I got got there, I was comfortable. Like I was, I feel like towards the end of the game, it really got to me. Like I was like this is really Tom Brady, and I feel like I kind of was kind of like a little uh, starstruck at, uh, at, at, at moments, but. Um, but uh, it was a probably a good, I feel like a good game plan and everything. But uh, and uh, I just feel like we probably just could have executed some things better. And it's probably so me personally. It wasn't until the end of the game where you kind of realized that. Well, realized. yeah, because like I try to be I try to be more focused. I feel like when the game actually ended, like I had went and like, I shook his hand and everything, just knowing it's Tom Brady. Like and me personally, I grew up watching him and I grew up uh, seeing him win a whole bunch of Super Bowls. So it was just great to uh, uh, shake his hand and just really just talk to him after the game. What do you see in your next opponent? With? Oh, they're a great group of guys. They got a whole bunch of weapons, but uh, we got a. I feel like we got a game plan for them, and we just make sure we execute, uh, fix our mistakes at practice and everything we're making, and uh, just continue to execute every single day. I feel like we got a good chance of beating them because, but they have a great group, group of guys, and I feel like we have a great group, group of guys also. So I feel like it's going to be a great matchup and a great game on Sunday. What have, what have teams done to try to limit Waller, the tight end? Are they playing him with a linebacker, a safety? Um, yeah, most of the time I feel like some some teams put backers on them, some teams put uh put uh, DBs on them. But I feel like uh, our scheme. I don't want to go deep into our scheme or how we're gonna play them, but uh, I feel like uh, we have we have uh, schemes and everything to stop them. But uh, but he's a great player, and we know we're gonna have to stop him. But if I feel like we can stop him. We got a good chance. As far as the conditioning aspect you were talking about. Uh, coming back from the injury, if JG, where where are you? If he came to you this week and said, "You got to be the three down linebacker. You got to play every snap." Are you at that position? You think? I feel like now I am. I feel like this last this last game, it, it kind of showed me where I was. Uh, like I feel like the Panthers game, it was kind of like that long, one long drive. I kind of got a little gassy, but the second game, uh, like this past game, I, I was able to put like with the Buccaneers, I was able to push through the tiredness. So I think now if I was like that, JG was to put me as a three down linebacker, and I played the whole game. I feel like I'll be able to uh, put like even though when I do get tired, but just able to push through and still play 100 percent, even though I am tired. I feel like I'm able to push. Um, I, I broke that barrier to able to push through it now. We've talked to you about your meetings with Nick, uh, I guess in the morning. So. Who structures what you guys talk about? Do you come in with things, or is he bring things to you? Well, it's actually we do the meetings after, like in the evening, it's not oh. the morning. But uh, but like me, it's really just uh, he'll just ask me what I want to what I want to what I want to go over, it's like something specific from practice or something specific from the film. But uh, and I'll just I'll try to come in with questions. I'll try to uh, ask him to go over certain things. But if not, if I don't have anything, we'll try to just probably just watch tape, go over like the game feel of, of our opponent, and just he'll call out plays, and I'll just like tell him where I'm supposed to be, and just getting a whole bunch of mental reps and everything uh, throughout that process. What's your, what, how do you come up with those things? I mean, are you thinking about that during practice, like mental note? I had to talk about this, or is it after you kind of take a, a second? Uh, sometimes it'd be uh, like you said at practice. It'll be something I probably messed up on, something that looked kind of funky to me, and I'll just put it as a mental note note like to ask him uh, later on that day or it could be I'm watching film at nighttime I just write questions in my notebook and then the next day I wouldn't want to I, probably, I wouldn't want to dis, uh, disrupt a linebacker meeting asking like so many questions so I'll wait till our extra time and that's just how to have all the questions I have I'll just make sure I ask them then so I don't have any questions on the field. With, with that said um, you, you said that from an endurance standpoint you feel like you can play three downs from, a, from an intelligence standpoint and a knowledge of the playbook standpoint do you feel comfortable playing in Oh yeah, now I feel like now it's it's, it's got way easier to me. I'm, I'm so much comfortable. Like I don't even have to really like I know my assignment before the ball is snapped, and I feel like that's a that's a big improvement compared to me last year. And uh, like now, uh, whatever whatever it's called, I feel like I'm always ready. I'm always just ready to just get in the stands and go full speed. 
So what's your main focus right now in, in terms of improvement? Improvement, uh, probably just making sure, making sure, like I said, I got better for with play recognition. But I feel like sometimes I watch the film, I feel like I am a still a little a step step short. So probably just watching more film if I have, I have to, and just making sure that I, uh, I'm getting that play recognition right before, like before when it happens, so I can be one step faster and maybe even make a make a better plays.